can't play with us. See what this game here taking us. No barber, ain't no fading us. Uh, I ain't really saying much. Ashes be louder than words. Man. I just wanna be her for your mom to your pop to the beast to the bird. Man. Cut right off on the curve like I'm Barry Sanders. Chains on and the diamonds dancing. Game on, so it's time to go. When the rain starts, I'ma let you know. Name a squad that is better though than my home team. We a pot of gold. I'm a dog, dog. I'ma need a ball. Hello, everyone. It's the coach. Welcome to EA Sports coverage of the 2019 NFL Pro Bowl from right here in Orlando, Florida. Coming up, the AFC looking to make it three in a row as they square off against their rivals from the NFC. I'll be back at halftime, but first, let's get you downtown to Camping World Stadium. Standing by our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Straight ahead, bragging rights on the line in the 46th meeting of the AFC and the NFC in the 2019 NFL Pro Bowl game. As always, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, Rams and Patriots still a week away. We'll touch on that later. But as Coach said, the AFC coming in here on a two-game win streak. And I love the fact that it's back to AFC versus NFC. We had that little time frame with captain's picks, and there was no side. I didn't like that. So let's see if the NFC can get into it. Drew Brees will be their starting quarterback. Probably a little perturbed about how his season ended. And Patrick Mahomes from Kansas City. What a second season for that youngster. Aldrich Rosas and the Giants putting toe to leather, and we are underway in the 2019 Pro Bowl. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The AFC heading out on offense and leading him is number 15 from the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, in his first ever Pro Bowl. Get your tux, get your best suit. Let's head to the red carpet. NFL Honors is coming up, and he will be the heavy favorite to be the NFL MVP. And let's face it, we'll see him here at the Pro Bowl many times to come in future years. And he will take this in for an AFC touchdown. James Conner, 72 yards. And the AFC has taken the early lead. So the AFC, remember, of course, they won the last couple years here in Orlando and off to a good start in this one. Yeah, how about that? The first touchdown of this game, how many more do we expect to set? Hopefully a lot. I want offense in this ball game. I don't think there's any question about it. Rarely do you get defensive struggles in the Pro Bowl. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So out comes the NFC for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first pick of the second round back in 2001. And that's the veteran Drew Brees. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team. And you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it. But otherwise, just go ahead and calm your team down. Run the offense. Get things going and see how things settle in. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving him a whole lot of credit and thanking him for that much space to rumble. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Here's the cream of the crop offensively, the starting unit for the NFC. And coming off the season, which saw him set career highs across the board, is tight end Zach Ertz, who's been around for a little while, but continues to improve in every facet. In fact, last year, he set the record for catches in a season by a tight end with 116, and he thinks that he can match that number or surpass it this season. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The starting defense now for the AFC. And the first pick in the 2014 NFL Draft out of South Carolina, Jadevian Clowney, has come into his own. He's now a three-time Pro Bowl player, and the last two seasons in the NFL have been his best. A combined 18 and a half sacks. Speed, quickness, power, he brings it all on every snap. From the gun on third down, Breeze. 
The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, there in coverage. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Back out is the AFC offense. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? Oh, no. And we'll see how no. determined they are. Mahomes to throw on second down. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. A look at the starters defensively now for the NFC. Consistency, thy name is Ryan Kerrigan. The outside linebacker hasn't missed a game since he began his NFL career in 2011 and only seems to be getting better with three straight seasons of 11 or more sacks, four Pro Bowl selections overall, three in a row, and he's a huge pro wrestling fan. Look out when he hits him with the R2K. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively, but instead it just brings up fourth down. So possession one ended in six. Possession two likely going to end in a punt. And that's okay. They just got to get back to what they worked on in the opening drive and continue to make a few adjustments along the way. It won't be exact because the defense will make a few adjustments themselves. Just get back to your game plan. The NFC offense heading back onto the field, and they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is playing the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. Brees now on first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Julio Jones, his Pro Bowl receiver. And that'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw, it's Brees. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. Only two there on the dump off. It's third down. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Again, it's Breeze. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. It's NFC football here to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. On play action, now Breeze. And that one's complete to Gurley. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. Shotgun now for Breeze. This complete to Jones. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. NFC South to NFC South. Breeze to Julio Jones for a first down. Breeze going to come up here first and 10. And he's 5 for 6 now throwing the ball on this drive. Jalen Ramsey right there in coverage to knock it away. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Here's a carry for Saquon Barkley and the Giants. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to more NFL action on EA Sports after this. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he will score. Touchdown, NFC. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the NFC just an extra point away from tying up this game. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field but now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And some good coverage there by the kick team as he'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. The AFC offense making their way back out, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so something well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Oh, nearly picked. And yeah, maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. On the delayed handoff, this is Gordon. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Fletcher Cox, the Eagles All-Pro, there to make the tackle. Now the home's throwing on second down. It's Hill, complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here's Mahomes to throw. Gets this one to Hill. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. And the timeout comes in with two seconds remaining. So they can trot out the field goal unit for the try before we hit the lockers. Myers kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we're at halftime of the 2019 Pro Bowl with the AFC out on top. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Boy, this AFC team has figured something out. They've got the lead again, looking to make it three in a row since the game moved to Orlando in 2017. So the question, what can the NFC do to come back? We'll ask that of our guys as we send you back to Camping World Stadium. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The NFC offense heads out to begin this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. 
And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Well, the screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. This is taken at about the 14. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the AFC will take over first and 10. The AFC offense now heading out for their first drive of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, yeah. we've, got the de we've, got the, we've got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. On second down, here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller, and he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Kelsey, the intended receiver there. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Here's Breeze to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The intended target, Saquon Barkley, and it's second down. We got three, we got three, we got three. Now on second down, this is Gurley. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Now Breeze on third down. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. It's the NFC with the lead and the football as we start the fourth. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for the NFC. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The AFC offensive unit getting set to take over. And it's great to see the Stars all out in one place, but in terms of football, what's really great to see is a very entertaining Pro Bowl as we are tied in the fourth quarter. And how many of these guys thought going into this game, after a pretty easy week heading into it, that the pressure would ratchet up now and someone has to make a play, which means someone will have a play made against them and not have to live with that for the rest of the year. On first down, it's Connor. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. He's going to rifle one deep left side and nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now 
Now here's Mahomes. That's complete. It's Gordon. And he will score. Touchdown, AFC. From eight yards out. And the AFC is able to widen their advantage. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The offense for the NFC back out there. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. So it's the NFC with the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw is Breeze. Caught by the tight end Ertz. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Now the NFC going to call the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. It's caught, Jones. They convert on third with a gain of 22. First down now, but the clock continues to move. There's Breeze. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Back to throw, Breeze. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. Breeze now. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the NFC going to take a timeout. They're second as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Breeze to throw for it on four. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? But slim just left town on that one. down to none. Yes, exactly right. Now the NFC going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Again, it's counter. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So it's a victory here in the Pro Bowl for the AFC.
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. So long, everybody.